how to control your GoPro HD Hero 1 and 2 with iPhones, iPads, Android devices, and more, including wirelessly. In this example, I have a Kindle Fire hooked up and wired to the GoPro through a trigger trap dongle. That's a special little cable you can buy online for about 20 bucks, and the cable doesn't require any of the other uh, trigger trap uh, accessories as it connects directly to the GoPro Hydromote cable already. In this example, the app is open in both devices, and I'm just triggering now directly from the Kindle Fire to show you that it triggers directly if you like, and also shuts it off, no problem. Uh, now, to set up Wi-Fi, we're going to set up both devices uh, to communicate. First, I'm setting the master device, and I'm going here to the Wi-Fi selection, turning Wi-Fi triggering on, and then I go to the Kindle app, and I select Wi-Fi. And at that point, I see that the two devices see each other on the Wi-Fi network and are ready to communicate. Now the fun begins, and I can start triggering wirelessly through the Trigger Trap app. Here are just the basic cable release. And notice in the bottom right-hand corner, I had to turn Wi-Fi on there. Don't forget to do that. And then cable release turns the GoPro on. And just like any other remote, a longer shutter button and the GoPro powers back off. There's a bit more of a delay because of the Wi-Fi network, but you see it just works marvelously there. And now uh, even more fun is playing with the other methods of triggering GoPro through Trigger Trap. Here are the bang setting. Loud noises will go ahead and turn the GoPro on. Great feature for certain security situations. Uh, there's other situations too or setups. You can trigger the GoPro with motion sensing, facial recognition, even magnets or metal near the iPad could trigger the GoPro if you like. Uh, a lot of things to try. You can get more information at TriggerTrap.com and we will post more demo videos using mobile devices here at Hydromote.com as well. Thank you and have fun with it.